What's up guys, it's your boy Beatty, back again with another video. And today I want to talk about my current training program, okay? So I've got quite a few questions about how I train, how did I get so strong, so on and so forth. So basically what I'm doing right now and for the last three months is basically, I'm basically doing a powerlifting program for the first exercise of my workout, right? So let's say to break it down, I start off Sunday, I got quad dominant leg day. Okay. Monday, I got arms. Tuesday, I got back. Wednesday, I got shoulders. Thursday, I got hamstring dominant leg day. Friday, I got chest. Saturday, I got rest day. So the reason I split it like this is because um, on a quad dominant leg day is when I do my heavy squats. So the following day, I give myself a break by doing my smallest body part, which is arms, right? So biggest body part quads followed by smallest body part. I get, you know, I get a rest. So I'm resting on Saturday right before the biggest body part and hardest body part. Then after that, I get a, I, I get to me arm day is like a rest day almost because it's, it's the smallest body part, lightest workout, right? So I'm gonna give myself a rest. Then after after that rest, I'm following myself back with uh, my second biggest body part, which is back. I might do heavy deadlifts, you know, or heavy rows, something like that. So I'm gonna be fresh off of arm day. Then after that, after my second biggest body part, now I have shoulders, which is my second smallest body part. That makes sense? So I'm staggering it. Big body part, small body part. So I'm, I'm kind of getting a, a little rest, right? And then after, after the shoulders, then I got hamstring dominant leg day. Hamstrings are pretty easy, but it's still, you, you know, it's still a big body part. So that's probably my third hardest workout, right? So it'll be quads, back, and my third hardest body part would be the hams and glutes so that's coming right off the shoulders which is pretty uh, i can't say easy like none of my workouts are easy but it's it's a smaller body part so then i hit uh hamstring and glutes after that then followed by chest which is my third smallest body part you know what i mean? so being at the quads isn't super hard but it's not super easy and the chest isn't so i'm kind of staggering it big body part small body part so that gives you enough time to recover and be able to hit the next workout heavy so on the on the leg uh, on a leg day that's quad dominant. That's when I do my squats. So whatever is in my program, I'll do that, and then I'll do the deadlifts on my back day, obviously. Then I'll do the bench press on my uh, chest day. So obviously powerlifting, the squat, bench, deadlift. That's what powerlifting is. So that's how I split split that up. Basically on those days, let's say on my on my quad day, I'll do my heavy squat progression, whether that's five sets of five volume day or that's gonna be like a heavy set to failure i'll do that followed by a bodybuilding workout so the way power lift power usually do the power lifting workout and they do accessories so it's kind of like that but instead of it being light accessories it's bodybuilding training with pretty heavy weights still so i'm doing the quad progression i mean it's, i'm doing a squat progression and i do a full quad day full bodybuilding style you know, and then the following day is arms. It's gonna be a full body building workout. Then you got the the back. I'll do my deadlift progression. Then I'll do a full body building split. You know what I'm saying? If if it lands on a week where I'm doing light deadlifts, I'm doing like a deficit deadlift. That's more hamstring. So instead of doing it on back day, I'll do it on the hamstring dominant leg day. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. You know, but I hope that makes sense. Yeah, so I usually do the deadlifts on back day. Unless it's a lighter deficit deadlift, then I'll do it for hamstring day, okay? And then obviously I'll do the bench press progression, whether it's three sets of 10 volume day or it's uh, a heavy set to failure. I'll do that followed by a full bodybuilding style workout. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'll walk you through a workout today and hopefully it'll make more sense after that. Still been able to build my physique and get strong off cycle by doing this. It's sort of like a power building kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the way I do my power building. Everybody has their own way of doing it. This is how I do my power building. So I like it, man. I like it so far. I'm getting strong. I'm still muscular, building building size, and still getting strong. So try it out, all right? If you guys like this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section for any kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. Follow me on Instagram, at BaityFall on Instagram. Email me for coaching or if you have any questions at BaityFall at iCloud.com. Without further ado, enjoy this chest workout. Peace.
game. So like I said, basically my first exercise is me following the program, right? So today's program is one heavy set to failure of 10 reps. So I should be failing, I should be failing at 10 reps, okay? If I can get more than 10, that means I need to increase my my calculated one rep max. max. So whatever, so right now my one rep max is projected at 415. Okay, that means let's say if I hit 10 reps, that means I raise my projected max to uh, 425. Okay, if I get two more reps, like then if I get two more reps than, than 10, so if I get 12 reps, that means I'm gonna raise my projected max by 20, which is gonna be 435. Okay, so yeah, so basically uh, the whole program goes by percentages, right? So you start with a certain percentage and every week you kind of go up in that percentage so um i don't want to bombard you guys with too much information at once so let's just focus on the on my, my my actual split in my program in this video and if you guys are interested to knowing the exact program to to the to the t then uh i can make a video about it or you can just follow my workouts and you can see for yourself from workout to workout but today's program calls for a heavy set of 10 um max effort heavy set of 10 with 315 pounds on the bar so i'll do that and then i'll move on to the next movement which is gonna be uh board presses i don't have you know i don't have a training partner right now to do the board presses with so i, I actually have a block press which is the apparatus that you use but i'm getting too ahead of myself let's hit this uh set of 315 and see how much we could get So I ended up getting seven reps. I'm, I'm honestly really disappointed. I got, I did this uh, last week. I got 13 reps with 315, and this week I got seven. So I'm actually highly disappointed. Um, I missed the meal last night. Didn't think it was a big deal because uh, my sleep schedule is way off. So I figured I sleep early. I miss a meal, sleep early. I wake up early, I get an extra meal, and it kind of balances out. And what happened is I actually didn't wake up early. I woke up same time I usually wake up, and uh, so I just missed the meal. And uh, I don't know if that's it, but um, I got seven reps, three for ten. So that's I'm, I'm really I'm really disappointed in that. Um, I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it not ruin the workout, but that's highly disappointing given that uh, I did 315 for 10 on incline. I've done 315 for 10 on closed grip bench, so it's like, I don't know, that, that should have been an easy 10, but it is what it is. It is what it is, so what do you do? You have good days, you got bad days, and um, I don't know. It's just, I guess I gotta show I can't just show my good days and not show my bad days, but it is what it is, man, no excuse.
whatever. Let's just uh, let's finish up some, the bench pressing. So next, I'm gonna do some block presses. So here's the block. Benchblocks.com, so you can get it. I'm basically use this to do uh, some block presses. This is great for building your lockout strength. A lot of bodybuilders, including myself, we have really weak lockouts because we don't really lock out much. We kind of just keep the pump going. So my lockout is pretty weak. This actually helped me a lot with my lockout. Let me show you guys how it's done. I got three sets of five with this. Um, shouldn't be too heavy, but given that I only got seven reps with 315, who knows? But let's see, uh, I'm gonna add a 10 on each side. I'm gonna do three sets of five with a uh, 335. So I know you see me do low reps on the warm-ups, and you're probably thinking like, why is he only gonna do three reps with 225? Here's the thing, okay? This is what most bodybuilders do. I'm not saying it's wrong or I'm right or anything like that. I'm just stating what happens, right? Most bodybuilders on their way up, they'll do they'll do these warm-up sets, right? Let's say they'll start with one plate, one plate, and do 12 reps, two plates, 10 reps, three plates, eight reps, and in the last set of six, they'll do three and a quarter, four plates, right? So what will happen is, by the time they get to the heavy set, we can all agree that the heavy set is what's doing most of the muscle building, right? Not, not the warm up, so acclimation set. So by the time they get to the heavy set, they're already burnt out. So let's say they got six, but realistically, they probably could have got 10 with that, right? So they gain the volume on the front end and then they're sacrificing the weight there uh, they can handle on the heavy set. Whereas me, I'll do, I'll do it the other way around. On my way up, I'm not going to failure, I'm just warming up. So I separate the warm up from the working set. So I'm not gonna do warm up and then do like a cross between a warm up and a working set and then do the working set when I'm fatigued. Instead, I'll warm up with very little fatigue, build up to the heaviest set of three plates three and a quarter, four plates, then I'll go back down and then I'll get the volume. So the reason they do this is they wanna get the volume, right? Well, I can still get the volume and still use maximum weights simply by getting the heavy weight in first before getting the volume in. So let's say they got in the, the 10 reps with two plates and then the eight reps with three plates. Whereas me, I get my heaviest set first out the way, then I'll go back down and do a couple back down sets. So let's say if i got three and a quarter for six reps then i go down to three and get eight to ten reps then i go down to two and a quarter and get 10 reps and i go down to two and get 15 20 reps so now i'm getting all the volume that most most guys would get but i'm able to max out the weight so hope that makes sense but yeah that's my method you know to my madness
All right, guys, so it's just one of those days, man. I did the incline, incline bench press for 335. My goal was probably like six, six, six reps, and I got about, I don't even know, like two or three, something like that. It was just, it's one of those days. It is what it is. Uh, it's all good. Um, could, could be worse, I guess, because I got injured or some shit. So it's just, uh, I'm going to chalk it up to one of those bad days, and uh just can't miss any meals, simple as that. Um, I'm in a calorie deficit too as well, so obviously it's hard to continue to get stronger in a calorie deficit, but I have done so, this so far. So uh, I wanna continue to do so and uh, I'll bounce back. I'll make some changes on my heavy days. Uh, I'll probably have a little more carbs, something like that, but I'll bounce back and just, uh, it's my own fault. I can't blame anything else. My own fault, just being a little negligent. Um, I knew I had a heavy day. I should have prepared for it, but uh, I didn't. And uh, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna just finish the rest of the workout with more of a pump style training. Don't even want to see where my strength is at because uh, it's just not there today, you know? But uh, it's all good. You capture the good days, you capture the bad days. It just so happens to be a bad day when I want to go in depth about the workout, but it is what it is. So uh, I finished the incline. Now I'm gonna hit some uh, incline hammer strength, all right? This hammer strength is a lot harder for some reason. Uh, it's actually not a hammer strength, that's probably why it's harder. I don't know the brand, but it's not, I don't see the brand written anywhere. But it's definitely not a hammer strength. It's a hammer, hammer strength style with the, with the plate loaded, you know, but uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what brand this is, but you see what I mean? It's like a hammer strength, but it has a completely different feel. It feels twice as heavy. I'm not just saying this, <laughs> I'm not just saying that as an excuse for why I'm probably gonna be weak on it, but uh, it goes inwards. So it doesn't go like a hammer strength. They mostly go straight up and down or maybe slightly inwards. This one just goes like all the way in. So it's a lot harder. Doesn't matter either way. I'm just going for reps and contraction on this one. So let's get it. So what you guys saw right there was a rest pause set. I did like a 30 rep set with two plates. Then I took 10 seconds rest. Did about seven, eight more reps. Took another 10 seconds rest. Did another seven reps. Just to, just to force some blood in there. When you're doing a heavy training, you have to be mindful to still get all the blood in there with the high reps. This is, I mean, I'm still a bodybuilder, so I can't just do the heavy stuff and get no pump. That's really how you build muscle. Progressive overload, and I feel like you can also build muscle with super saturation of the muscle. I like the, like Milos, he believes in that. And um, I don't think you can build muscle, I don't think you can build ample muscle with that alone. I think you need a combination of both. I think too much, too much people pick one side. I'm, I'm down to do both, man. Give me all that heavy shit and still give me all that reps, man. I'm trying to get all the money, baby. Now I'm gonna move on to some flies. That'll probably be it. And then I'll probably get a little, uh, I'll get a little bicep pump or something like that at the end. I always like, I always like to get a little arm pump at the end of the workout. Because if I'm not feeling it, if I'm feeling burnt out, I skip arm days sometimes just because I already have pretty big arms. As you can see, no need to go crazy on arms. So I'll touch it up a little bit just in case I need an extra rest day. I could just take the arm day off. So I'll probably touch up a little bicep and call it a day. Next exercise, uh, probably do cable flies. Yeah, probably do cable flies. Or machine flies. I don't know, I'll go by Phil. <laughs> 